Hello everybody and welcome to my 17th VB80010 tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to use AND and OR statements in within your IF st statements. So with your IF statements sometimes you're going to want to test more than one criteria at the same time. So I'm just going to put in a little form for people to put in. So name, uh, gender. Very simple. So put their name there and gender underneath. Uh, I'm just going to turn off grid lines because I hate grid lines. Um, so, and then they're going to fill this in and then we're just going to do something with it. So, uh, you'll see later. So, let's go back into our code. So, alt F11. So, what we want to do first is if they haven't filled any of it in, so if they haven't filled in either of these, then we don't, we wanted to tell them that they need to fill it in. So first of all, let's, re let's go with an if statement. So if, and then we want to test if name was blank. So A3, so if this workbook dot sheets, and we're on sheet one, so sheet one dot range, a three dot value equals nothing, and then we also want to test if gender equals nothing, and so we're going to put so if that equals nothing, or and this is where your or is going to come in. So we put one boolean statement here, and then we put an or. And then we put another boon in statement. So we're going to put A5 this time. So A5. Then. And then this is quite long here. So I'm going to show you a quick trick. So if you put an underscore somewhere, then it just lets you put your line of code on the next line. So you always have to have a space before the underscore and then the next line you just carry on writing your code. The only time you can't do it is don't do it in the middle of a string because it will just put the underscore in the string and it won't do anything. Uh, but that lets tidies it up a little bit for us. And then and we want else and then end if. So what this is going to do is it's going to test it this workbook dot sheets and I've spelled workbook wrong, so workbook. This workbook dot sheets, sheet one dot range, a three dot value equals nothing, or this workbook dot sheets, sheets one dot range, a five dot value equals nothing. And then that just lets us string those together. And I'm gonna put that another tab along. So and then we want to do so if that all that equals true then this whole statement is going to come back as true and it's going to run it here so if one of them's blank we want to put a message box please fill in all details and then otherwise we just want it to go into this one and carry on so let's just test this so let's go into here alt f8 Let's run Matty, and then it will come up with please fill in all details because we haven't filled one in. If we fill in here, say my name is Matty in here, oh F8, run, and it's still going to come up with please fill in all details. And then if we put gender in, say male, if you hadn't guessed already, and then run, and then it's not going to come up with a message now because it's tested both of them. Both of them come through to false, and so it's gone into this section of code here. So that's how you use an OR statement. You can do as many as you want. So if we put in a third one here, so let's put in uh, age, and then put that like that. And then we want to just test if that one So put another line in. So we do another or, and then a seven. 
and then when we run this without filling in age, run, and it's going to say, please fill in all of the details. So again, it's just going, if that one's true, or that one's true, then it's true, or if that one's true, then it's true. And then, so if I fill my age in, and then press Alt F8, and then run, and then it's going to run fine. So let's move on to ands now. So ands are very similar to ors, except whereas ors, only one of them needs to be true for the whole thing to come back as true, ands needs all of them to be true for it to be true, otherwise it will come back as false. So let's start writing an if statement. So I'm going to come back with ticket prices. So we're going to put just a normal if statement first of all. So if age is less than or equal to 16, then message box, you get child's price. Then we want to do an else if and do another one. So else if age is greater than 16. And then we also want to make it, so we use an and, so and less than or equal to 65. We want to just do less than 65, because if you're 65, you're going to get the uh, pen pensioner's price, so then, and you got to put in age again, and you put no space in there. And so else if, and then we're just using an and here, so it's going to make sure that the age is greater than 16 and the age is less than 65. And then we can put message box, you get adult price, and then one final else. So if they're not less than or equal to 16, and they're greater than 16 and less than 65. And then the last one is just message box. You get senior citizen discount. And then just end if, same as normal. And so let's play this now. So go back into here, I filled in my age, O F uh, F8, and run, and then it's saying I get child's price because I have put in uh, a age variable without actually filling it in. So let's just dim it, say so dim age as integer, and then age equals this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot range a seven dot value. So let's go back in here and play this again. Oh, F eight run, and then you get adult price as it should be. So uh, let's say I'm nine. So oh, F eight run, and then you get child's price. And then oh f eight oh let's actually change it first. Let's say I'm eighty two oh f eight run and you get a senior citizen's discount. So let's just recap this quickly. So with an or and let's just put a little table together. So or so if your first one's true and your next one's false. Oh. Uh, let's not do let's not do it in here. Let's put put it into here. So, the first one's true. The next one's false, and then with your second one, true, false, or. So if the first one's true or the second one's true, then that's going to come back as true. On this one. If it's the first one's false but second one's true, it's still going to come back with true because it only needs one of them. And then this one's going to be true as well. And then if they're both false, it's going to come back with false. Whereas your and is going to be slightly different. 
So with your and, you need that one to be true and that one to be true. So this one here and this one here are both going to be false because one of them is false. So if you if you if you find it confusing, then just use these two tables here just to show you what how the and and the or work. So that's it now for if statement. In the next tutorial, we're going to start going into arrays. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.